Hi, I'm coming from northern Michigan and I really haven't had a chance to wash really well or whatever, so I'm sure I look like hell. But I just wanted to share some thoughts that I had. While I was there, I watched an interview with Crispin Glover on TomGreen.com, which is really a nice interview. Um, Crispin doesn't give out really long interviews, and I've always been curious about him. And this was an hour-long interview where he took some calls from the public. In it, he described his movie uh, that he's working on, or that he finished, and that he's currently promoting, and he takes it out to you know, smaller venues, shows it, and does a Q&A afterwards. Wherein he describes that, you know, a few members of the audience typically will be vocal, very loud, and very negative about the whole project. The name of his film is What Is It? And part of its function, I believe, was to challenge the notion of what is good and evil, and more importantly, why do we as a society consider something good or evil? And I think that's a very worthwhile goal. I'm not entirely sure what he's intending on doing with these vocal, loud minorities that become a bit combative, I'm sure, with him at his performances. However, if he's not going to educate them, what, what is the, essentially what is he accomplishing? The second thought I had, other than that, which he believes that mainstream media uh, and corporate media censor everything to appease this loud, vocal, and largely ignorant minority, and I think that's a worthwhile goal. The only problem I have with all of that is the relative inaccessibility of the film. I think he logged the large proportion of his audience for at least being accepting and tolerant of what he shows them, but I don't know how much of his audience would really grasp what's going on. And I think that becomes a problem. I've, uh, I've never been critical of other artists vocally. I don't really want to stop their creative process or their creative output. If I can help them in some way, I do. And I'm not saying this towards Crispin, but I'm saying this rather towards more poets in my areas, which will, they will lash out these incredible poems that are entirely inaccessible, and then grasp at an elitist, almost defeat attitude that, oh, you didn't understand that, well then there's something wrong with you. The fact is, part of art is communication. And if no one is understanding then what you're getting, then you really need to look at what you're trying to accomplish. In Crispin's case, I believe he's accomplishing something worth, worthwhile. But for a lot of artists out there, when it's inaccessible, your point's lost. And your work then really is diminished in value. Now, if you're challenging a paradigm such as what is good and evil, why society considers these things good and evil, and the definition of same as provided by the corporations which tend to dominate a capitalist society, then yeah, that's going to be inaccessible to the people that have had their minds molded to that paradigm. At the same time, it would also behoove an artist to be a good shepherd and provide at least a small framework for guiding the viewer, the observer, to some sort of, pardon me, to some sort of logical outcome. Now, you want them to ask questions and you want them to find their way on their, on their own, but if they can't even get in the door, they're not going to find their way anywhere and they're going to leave your work where it is. Which is to say, if you're going to have a poem or, or a creative work of art which challenges such a paradigm, maybe you should relate to them that this is my story and it's provided in this framework and the questions are left to you. Sometimes I think people could do better with their work if they had an epigram, a prologue, or just some sort of friendly introduction before they do some of their work, some of their pieces. All in all, 
I think the more thought you put into your project, the better it's going to be. And I laud any artist who is willing to challenge the dominant paradigm. Yeah. So, see ya.